Hi, I'm Bunky. I'm Beebs from Beebs and Our Money Makers, and you're watching Groovy TV. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Beebs and Our Money Makers here at the Denver Vans Warp Tour. How's it going? Fantastic. How, How are you? It's a great day in Denver. Really glad to be here. Right on. So, how's the uh, Warp Tour treating you guys? Warp Tour has been awesome. Um, it's probably been one of the most amazing experiences we've had in life so yeah. far. Yeah. How would uh, how do you deal with the heat in Vegas? We're from Florida, so we're pretty accustomed to swampy, nasty weather. It was pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie. We're referring to it as the day to never be spoken about. As what? The day to never be spoken about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every band that we've interviewed has just been like, oh my god, it was torture. It was, I got, I was up 80 bucks in uh, Blackjack though, so this wasn't a total bust. Nice. <laughs> so what's going on with the new album? Uh, we just released our new album, No Sleep Tonight, um, and we also just released a music video uh, for our single, Jumpin'. Um, we showcase our superhero flying skills. We were going to keep that under the radar for a while, but we decided to just, you know, come out with it. and. I had no idea you had superpowers. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're superheroes. We're from Orlando, Florida. We have superpowers. We actually took a rocket ship to Warp, to warp Tour. We decided not to do a van or a bus. It's too much in gas, so we took a rocket ship. So you, you can fly and you have a spaceship. Yes, this is true. And are a successful gambler. Yeah, successful gambler, Justin Bieber's cousin. Um, what else we got going on? We're, uh, we're seeking John Stamos. Oh, yeah, we're on a quest. So if you knew him, on a quest to find John Stamos all summer. Is he here right now? Uh, I'm not sure. We've been looking for him the whole time. We have not found him yet. It would be sweet if we found him in Denver, but... Uh, it's actually me. I'm just wearing a fat suit. So let me unzip it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were here, John. <laughs> knew it. So what are you guys doing after Warp Tour? Uh, we will be going back to Orlando and filming another music video and working on some more new music and then heading out for a love yourself slash anti-bullying campaign that we're partnering with Ripley's Believe It or Not for. That's incredible. That's amazing. They're, they sponsored us for Warp Tour actually so we're out. Really? Yeah. yeah. That is so cool. How did that all come about? Um, their message is very similar to ours. Just embrace your oddity, love yourself and do your own thing no matter how weird or different you are so it just seemed like the proper right. way to go that's badass yeah. it's really badass so is there anything coming up uh, tour or release wise or video wise that's not top secret we can talk about oh I there is a cartoon I just did some voiceover work for coming out next year called Megaton City really so that'll be pretty cool and um, what's that gonna come out on uh, it, I'm not I, honestly I don't know on MegatonCity.com, Facebook, I don't know, There, I don't know, I'm not really sure yet. There is a website for it, Megaton City, yeah. it's M, uh, Mega, and then it's T-O-N-N, yeah. dot com. And uh, it's the, the artwork and the concept was done by Jax Jackman, who's a Marvel DC comic book artist, so yeah, it should be pretty cool. That is badass, yeah. and we actually just did uh, Denver Comic Con. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, man. I would have loved to be there. Oh. We, have, we have a comic book out. Actually, we're working on the second issue of our comic book. It'll be out by the beginning of next year. Nice. Yeah. Well, you got to be at the 2014 Denver Comic Con. It's huge. You heard it. 2014 Denver Comic Con. Beebs and our money makers are coming for that. Okay. Unfortunately, you've reached the part of the interview where I ask you a bunch of stupid questions. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. Okay. How many extremely angry but unarmed four-year-olds would it take to kick your ass? Ooh. There's not enough in the world that could kick Monkey's ass because she's the strongest one in the band. There's actually four other guys in the band and she beats all of them. Um, me, I don't know. Four-year-old? Four -year I, I couldn't hurt a four-year-old. I'd have to just corral them all and... and the, yeah. Tell them a story. Maybe, or or I could I could just I could just talk in my normal voice and put them to sleep instantly. Yeah, <laughs> it's would, my superpower. Uh, I would just make cotton candy and give it to them and just call it a day. That's how I would handle that situation. The old cotton candy defense. Yeah, the old cotton candy defense. Blue and pink. All right, there's one more. Are you ready? Okay, ready. Okay, between the numbers one and one hundred, how many times does the number nine appear? Hmm? 
nine times? No. Ten times? Eleven, eleven, two hundred and thirteen? I'll take 213. 213. That's my final answer. It's 20. That was pretty close. 213. 29, 99, 9, 19. Oh, yeah. 200. Oh, we skipped the 90s. We skipped the 90s yeah. entirely. It was a, it's a bad decade. What? Really bad hair. I love the 90s. I skipped the 80s, but I love the 90s. <laughs> You're the only person who actually liked the 90s, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Where do you... I mean, that's where my love for John Stamos came from. Can't discount that. Stamos, if you're out there, please. If you're out there, I'm looking for you. I don't care how many interviews I have to say your name in. Eventually, you're, you're going to come around. I know it. I just know it. Thank you, John Stamos. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Beebs and her money makers and John Stamos. Hopefully, <laughs> later. He's around here somewhere. Vans Warped Tour, Denver, Colorado. Right on. His name is Germs.